find the, determine the displacement of NC. Do y'all see what that's saying? The displacement of NC is the delta L of this whole beam, AB, AAC, right, from A to C. So these are broken up into two sections. I'm going to do um, the delta L is the delta L of section AB, the delta L of section BC, right? So the delta L would be <clears throat> the PL over EA of that section, the PL over EA of that section, right? So the delta L, uh, I think I want to start with section BC. I think it, can, can you just visually see that it's going to be 90 kilonewtons in compression, right? That's going to be 90 kilonewtons negative 90 kilonewtons. That P right there, a little bit tougher. Let us cut it and solve for that. All right, so where, where do I have room? Let's try it right here. So I'm going to cut it right here, and I'm going to solve. I've got 90 kilonewtons that way. I've got 30 and 30, but these are at a 3, 4, 5 angle. I don't think I can just, I don't know, visually see it. So let me call it N for now. And summing the forces in the X direction. Negative N, negative 90, and 30, uh, the four-fifths component, and I've got two of those, equals zero, N, negative 42. Negative 42. So it still is 42 kilonewtons compression. So how, however you need to get to this point, you need to be able to solve that there's a compression of 42 kilonewtons inside section AB, a compression of 90 kilonewtons inside section uh, BC. And so I will say negative 42,000, the length 400 millimeters over the E. I'll give you this, but in, in the back of the book, there are, um, I guess this is different material, but similar uh 200 gpa so 200 thousand mpa area it told us the diameter so pi by 4 30 squared and then negative 90 thousand uh its length 600 200 thousand pi by 4 30 squared. So uh, it really might be beneficial to factor those out and multiply it once instead of multiplying this, um, having to type those into your calculator. It also would be beneficial if we just, uh, you know, cancel out a thousand from each of those. So maybe I should also memorize that kilonewton over millimeter squared is GPA. That wouldn't be too, right? Kilonewton over millimeter squared is GPA. See, see how often that happens. Do, do the homework, you know, and um, see what units show up over and over. All right, so I've got delta L is negative 0 0.501 millimeters. Delta L is negative. 0.501 millimeters.